A recent government report questions the effectiveness of billions of U.S. dollars aimed at stopping drug and gun trafficking between the U.S. and Mexico. Now, a new documentary from CBS News reveals that weapons purchased here in our area are ending up in the hands of Mexican drug cartels. National investigative correspondent Stephen Stock explains how it is happening. It's a case gone viral on social media that caught the attention of the country. Four friends from South Carolina traveling to Mexico for cosmetic surgery, kidnapped during a cartel shootout in the Mexican border town of Matamoros. They jumped out to run and they were gunned down. Two of them died. And then when I jumped out on the driver's side, that's when I was shot in both legs. A U.S. citizen supplied the cartel one of the guns, a semi-automatic pistol. Court records show he bought the weapon at a Brownsville, Texas pawn shop, acting as a straw buyer. It's just one gun of thousands exported from the U.S. to various Mexican cartels. Texas isn't the only place where these guns come from. Take a look at this low-resolution map obtained through intelligence sources exclusively by CBS News. Each red dot are all over this map indicates a gun purchase tied directly to drug cartel violence in Mexico. Take a closer look at the Chicago area. You can see it is lit up in red. A lot of red dots indicating a lot of purchases. Just pulled out a 9 millimeter wrapped in plastic out of the gas tank. A CBS News documentary exposes this pipeline supplying Mexican drug lords with guns from the U.S., some of them military-grade weapons. Here's how the pipeline works. When narcos want guns, they activate a phone tree, calling accomplices who live across the U.S. They're paid to buy weapons and ammo, then illegally pass them off to brokers. Couriers pick up those guns, then drive them into Mexico and the hands of cartels. These are AK flats. Retired ATF agent Edwin Starr showed us pictures from a ghost gun manufacturing operation run by an Oklahoma man. They were smuggled to his factory in Nuevo Laredo. One of the first cases to expose this gun supply network. He takes the parts across the border and assembles them in his clandestine factory in Nuevo Laredo. For, for the, the cartel. For the cartel. Photos show the sophisticated operation that made hundreds of guns for two Mexican cartels. In 2021, Andrew Pearson pleaded guilty to violating the Arms Export Control Act. He's currently serving a 12-year sentence at this U.S. prison in Texas. Acknowledging the problem means you have to come up with a solution. And right now there isn't one. The U.S. has sent more than $3 billion to Mexico to fight drug and gun trafficking. But the GAO, the investigative arm of Congress, found the government can't demonstrate the money's been spent effectively. It reports about 70 percent of firearms seized in Mexico between 2014 and 2018 originated in the U.S. It has nothing to do with American citizens owning firearms. It has nothing to do with the Second Amendment. It has everything to do with you cannot export firearms to cartels. I'm Stephen Stock, CBS News. President Biden and some top government officials have acknowledged this gun pipeline poses a serious problem and they vowed to take steps to stop it. You can see more on how American sold guns are getting into the hands of cartels tonight on the CBS Evening News with Nora O'Donnell.